What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today I've got five tips and some other miscellaneous things that you can do throughout the week to give yourself a smooth transition into World Tier 5. Number one is upgrade your crafting station, because who's not going to want to bring their exotic weapons and some of the other semi-decent blueprints up into World Tier 5. This is very costly for materials, money, so if you have not done this yet, I would definitely consider doing it. Number two, farm and stockpile keys money and crafting materials which obviously correlates to number one for stockpiling keys you are going to want to go throughout the underground and loot the crap out of those nearly every day i would wait a few days after tier 5 releases to see if any of the other exotic weapons that hopefully will be coming into the game soon will need us to open chests like how the chatterbox quest went and while you're looting those you will be gaining crafting materials from opening up toolboxes backpacks and all that other stuff that's down there number three is farm exotics if if you were like me and already crafted your chatter box, you are definitely going to need exotic upgrade materials to bring that exotic up into world tier 5. I know this is easier said than done, but you should try and farm it, and also as you're farming this, you will be getting crafting materials and a lot of money doing this. So definitely keep this into consideration. To farm the Merciless, you want to go to the Jefferson Trade Center and just play it over and over and over again on hard or challenging. And the Sweet Dreams shotgun comes from DCD headquarters. You can also do the Potomac Event Center and Roosevelt Island Stronghold. Obviously, Roosevelt Island I mean, that's a pretty long playthrough. You're probably better off with DCD. That's probably the quickest run through, maybe about 15 minutes on hard. Or if you do it on challenging, it may take a little longer, but you'll get more gear and whatnot on it. You know, risk versus reward. Tip number four is work on your commendations. It seems like I don't know if a lot of people know about this or even know how to redeem their patches. I didn't even really know about it until one of my friends told me. I was like, how the hell do you get patches? This is how. But with the commendations, you will be unlocking your patches. And also, as you are completing, them once you turn them in you can gain caches and lots and lots of caches so work on these as you're going through everything else and farming but again do not turn them in until you hit world tier 5 so you get higher level caches because you actually have to manually turn them in I'm not gonna do it here because I'm saving mine and yeah that's definitely work on these it's important and number five is is if you are a hoarder like me start going through all of your gear save anything with the best attributes best talents best everything and sell and break down everything else for money and materials for me you, you can spend hours and hours going through this stuff but definitely you're going to want to have a clean inventory going into world tier five because as you start leveling up and hitting that 500 mark we are going to be going through boatloads and boatloads of gear but that way when you do get the new gear sets you will have a stockpile of stuff with really good talents on it that you can transfer over if some of the gear that we're getting isn't so great or fancy i know kind of a no-brainer but you know is what it is some of the miscellaneous stuff that you might want to do is is save the apparel money unlock cash key crate things i don't remember what it's called off of the top of my head right now but you might want to save those i don't know if in world tier 5 there's going to be a new apparel but you might just want to hang on to those and wait and see also you might want to run around and kill the hunters if you haven't done so already and get your seven keys make sure you do it the legit way the stalker hunters we weren't supposed to be able to kill them and even though i know there's still a lot of people who are arguing with me that they're getting that hunter to spawn in the ghost hunter it's bugged those stalker hunters that are out there you don't have to do anything and they're already there and even without doing anything if you kill them they will drop you the masks but i would just wait for the ghost mask to get patched on april 5th and then obviously when you get the ivory keys from that wait till you're 500 to open up that chest in the white house well i suppose that's it without making this video too long and the best tip of all that i can always give anybody is have fun playing the game play it the way you want to play it oh yeah and join a clan that's important too you should definitely join a clan if you are on ps4 you are more than welcome to join my clan which is the scanners that's it for me i hope you guys have a wonderful day hit the old like button for me if you could subscribe and all that other junk and i will catch you all on the flip side peace